Welcome guys! In today's video I'd like to show you how to work on your spreadsheet with our API in PHP using Laravel to be precise, which is a great framework to work with because its syntax makes things much easier and faster. Here I have a sample spreadsheet with some data and a brand new Laravel installation here. And the first thing we have to do is create a controller for our purposes in the terminal. Let me call it sheetdb controller. Then we must move to the text editor and I'm using Sublime for this. And in this created controller, I'm making a method called get. Just for testing it, I'm going to return one. Now we have to link this method to a route in my web file. Calling it get as well. And after comma, I attach this route to the controller created before with the get method. Now just don't forget to import this controller at the top of the file. Let's now open the browser to see if that works. So there's the number one displayed and everything's okay at this point. We have the environment ready to start working in. Next, we need to install the sheetdb library. In the terminal, write this command and thus install our package to your project. All right, it's done. Let's move to the editor. Instead of this return one, I'm going to grab an instance of sheetdb's class. And as a parameter, I must use my API ID. So I'll just copy it from my dashboard at sheetdb.io. By default, sheetdb uses the first sheet. However, if you wish to use a different one, just pass this sheet's name as a second parameter here. So now that this has been done, we can actually do whatever we want with that. So at sheetdb's website, at the use cases page, I have different methods here. They are listed and they're for creating, updating and more. As an example, I will show you how to use the get method first. To show you the content, let's use the die and dump function. It is, by the way, a helpful hack for debugging any variable while coding. So, let's see. Oh, whoops. So, I forget to import the sheetdb library here. Okay, so let's go back. And, uh, you, as you can see, there's the content of the spreadsheet we used. Pretty easy, isn't it? And how about creating new records in the spreadsheet? It's also a piece of cake. We have to add another method, which is create, and provide the content as a parameter. Also, let's register the new route. And now, open that in the browser. You can see the response that something's actually been created. Let's go back to our old route and see if the new content has been appended to our data. Indeed, there it is at the bottom. The same thing should be visible in the spreadsheet. And it's there as well. You can also go back to our use cases and see all the other methods which you can use, so just check them out by yourself. If you'd like to use them with plain PHP, then just scroll the page down, and here you have some examples without any dependencies. So that's it for today. I hope you'll find this video useful to, our, to your project, and if so, please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss more tutorials like this. Don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have any questions or feedback worth sharing with us. Have a great time coding and see you next time.